Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, let's talk about GeoFiber. And if you recall, guys, now GeoFiber, with every GeoFiber, you're getting this set-top box also. And there were a lot of rumors about this, that this will replace your cable and stuff. Uh, but now, have it for almost four weeks. So let's talk about it, what this does and what it does not do. As you can see, this is a uh, interface that you have. And you also get this remote. Actually, the remote controller is very good. But guys, this is not a replacement to a cable TV. And again, as it's a reliance based product, there's a catch. So let's talk about it. And as you can see, guys, on the back, we have an antenna. Again, uh, this is for the cable connection. You have to take a different cable connection right now. They haven't said which one. Next, we have, uh, this is, if you have an audio home theater, that's audio out. Then we have a HDMI. And the good thing is that it supports up to 4K. We also have an Ethernet jack, but don't worry. It also works on Wi-Fi. Tested it on Wi-Fi. And then we have two USB ports and the power port. So guys, as you can see, this is the interface that you get. And this is like a, what do you say, a set top box or something. And here, if you go, it uh, this is GOT Plus, it shows you some of the actually stuff that is available. And again, what you can see it will be based on your, uh, what do you say, broadband plan. Uh, this is the basic. So some basic stuff is coming. And if you open this, think of this as an aggregator. For example, it just pulls in content from uh, multiple uh, sources. Let me just go back like this. If I go here and we also have live TV, it says, but this does not work. As I've told you, you need a cable connection, separate cable connection, and that will be attached. And then uh, Geo will partner with them. As of now, as, as you can see, it simply does not work. So you have to actually take a cable connection if you want proper cable services. This is not a replacement for that. Many people were thinking that it's a replacement. So let me just go back. And then we have the Geo Cinema. Again, if you have uh, used any Geo phone, you have that. We also have Salmon. And we have a basic Geo store. But guys, one thing to note is that if you notice, uh, here, let me just go back. Uh, you see some of the apps, but these are some very generic apps that we have on this one. We don't have a lot of third party apps like Netflix, Amazon and all those things. If you go over here, the, the main third party apps as of now is YouTube, Voot, Sony Live, Hotstar, Z and Sunnex and Alt Balaji. This is what I'm getting. That's it. So again, it's not like a full fledged, what do you say, even set top box where you have a Google Play Store or something and you can just go ahead and install whatever you want. Uh, right now, the selection is very, very limited as you can see this is what we have and again what types of channels or etc you will get will be based on your subscription so very limited i would say as of now uh, and the thing is that uh, how geo makes money from this one is for, for example it's also youtube if you uh, know the geo connection the data caps are pretty less. The basic one has about 100 GB. So whenever you play back a video or whatever, this is being used from your data connection. Let me just skip this. As you can see, right now it's playing the video. And this is in Full HD because this was in Full HD. As you can see, so it pulls in Full HD or whatever. And uh, it also plays 4K video, so that's good. But the thing is that, for example, I'll show you. Let's uh, play the folk. The good thing is that the set-top box is very fast. If you notice, there is no lag. So in that way, I'm very happy with it. I am not noticing any lag. And this is a 4K video, very high resolution. Let me show you a little bit. And it's again using the data, obviously. And if I go over here, let me show you. It's pulling in 4K. So that's a good thing. As you can see, it's pulling in 4K. That's not a problem. But again, you have to be careful with this one because it does consume uh, your data. And that's where Geo is trying to make uh, money uh, because they have that 100 GB plans and stuff. And uh, it will be used. If you go to the My Geo, it will show you how much data is left. And uh, this is for checking up your speed. So again, as you see, very limited uh, selection. It's not a replacement for your cable. And I thought they will give direct access to Play Store or something. But that's not the case, though it's running on Android, guys. It's running on Android 9. But uh, we simply don't have a Play Store where you can just go and let's say install your favorite app like Netflix uh, or uh, what do you say, Amazon Prime. That functionality is not there. They are restricting what you can install. So that way they are limiting. And the big thing is that uh, it will be consuming your data. That's what they want to do. Uh, yeah, they want you to use this so that you finish your data and top up your, your geo broadband connection, that fiber connection. And one thing I'm, I don't like is that I went to the settings over here and I digged around everywhere. Let's say uh, 
by default this box is 4k so let's say you don't want 4k content you want to restrict it to only 1080p i did uh, go inside but i simply could not find an option to restrict it to 1080p so if the source is 4k then it will automatically start pulling in 4k and that way it will consume a lot of data so again be a little bit careful when you're using it otherwise you'll be surprised why did your uh, almost all the data of that uh, geo fiber connection just went away so again be careful about that and if you go to the my geo uh, for example i'll show you it shows you how much data and your plan is available right now mine is expiring uh, so let me just get out of this now let's also talk about the remote as i told you the remote is very functional and it's a bluetooth remote for example i don't even have to point it and it will work as you can see i'm just moving up and down and it works so that's good it also has voice recognition but i feel as of now it's very poor it simply does not work or recognize most of the time and you also have this tv box uh, option but as i've told you you need that cable connection for that so it simply does not work but the remote is very functional and very responsive so in that aspect i would say uh, uh, reliance did a good job with this one and also the box overall even when i was pulling 4k content from youtube was very responsive so the remote controller is actually pretty good but again uh, it's made up of plastic and the thing is uh, guys as i've told you it works uh, really well on wi-fi as well as uh, ethernet and i did uh, try this one because the geo data connection is pretty limited uh, in the base plan it's just 100 gigabytes what i did is right now it's connected to uh, via wi-fi not to my geo uh, internet connection uh, i have an act connection right now it is working even with that but i don't know if that will continue in future they might restrict it to only work with the geo uh, fibers internet connection as of now it's working so that is something you have to uh, note but again be careful about how much data you're consuming because it this everything is designed for you to consume your data and finish your geo fiber connection so that you can top it up uh, and page you a little bit more but again it's not a true what do you say cable replacement if you want a cable replacement or stuff still i would say uh, don't look forward to this one go with the regular dth uh, connection um, and that way you'll be uh, safer Anyways, guys, that's it for now for this quick look at this uh, Geo Fiber uh, box. What do you guys think about the same? Uh, are you continuing to use the Geo Fiber connection? At least here in Hyderabad, I actually have three connections within our family and I'm uh, planning to surrender two of them because right now the plans of Geo Fibers are very expensive compared to the competitors in Hyderabad. For example, I'm paying up about 850 rupees per month for this 100 gigabytes of data via Geo Fiber. You get even 50 GB extra because of the uh, inaugural offer. So let's say 150. But uh, I also have Act Fiber here in Hyderabad and I pay about uh, 1300 rupees and with that I get uh, one terabyte that is 1000 GB of data and speeds are also faster about 150 megabits so anyways what do you think about this geo fiber box do you think this is a replacement for a cable connection proper cable connection according to me it's not the case but what do you guys think about the same do let me know in the comment section below that's it for now thanks for watching this is Ranji that I hope to see you in my next video